Hi guys, welcome to Kelly Tan and I'm Kelly. Today what we're going to do is we are going to be swatching and trying on the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Makeup Palette. And this has been something that I've been looking forward to swatching and using for a long time. And I love Jeffree Star products and even though Blood Sugar launched like two years ago, I've never gotten my hands on one. So this weekend I went to a Morphe store and I actually if you guys don't have it yet, I recommend it. It's going to be restocked on Friday with Jeffree Star's Blue Blood and his new launch, The Blood Lust. So, without further ado, let's take a look at these colors here. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. They're so beautiful. Look at the colors. I actually swatched them already, so we're just going to go through the colors on my arm. There's so many of them that I had to put them on the bottom as well. So, the first one is called Glucose. Second one is Sugarcane. It's a pinky matte color. Next one is Cake Mix. It's a more of a nude. And then we have Ouch. It's a brownish matte color. And then we have the Metallic Donor. And I love this one. Next one is Intravenous. The dark brown. I don't think I'll be using that one as much as um, other people might use it. Candy Floss, one of my favorite. It's a neutral, pinky, very cute color. Then we have Tongue Pop, which is a coral matte. And Sweetener, which matches the Tongue Pop. It's a coral shimmer. And then we have Cavity, O Positive. What is this called? Root Canal. Interesting. Prick. Cherry Pop. So these two are the two main red colors in this palette. And um, Prick is more bright. And Cherry Pop. Cherry Soda, sorry. Is more deep. Next one is Fresh Meat. And then we have Blood Sugar. And then we have Extraction. And we have Coma Last. Which one is your favorite, guys? I love these three. I think I will use this as like a everyday look. Let's go on. Alright, so these swatch pretty well. These are one, one swipe swatches. I don't use primer, so this is without primer. I do see a little problem with the shimmers, only because you have to go over them multiple times in order to get that like shimmer finish. Um, otherwise the shadows will come off in the little chunks but let's try it on the eyes now let's put up our hair and I have to take off my glasses and we're going to be using the Jeffree Stars and Morphe brushes today we're going to try to use all Jeffree Star today um, I love his brushes from with Morphe. They're really fan fantastic. All right, we're going to do a more neutral tone kind of look today because um, I am going out, so I cannot be looking crazy today. What we're going to do first is we're going to use glucose. Glucose. Let's try to see that as like a base. So even though I don't use primer, I do use like white shadow on the first so that I can have the shadows adhere to something. So let's see what, how it looks like on. It's really brightening. It makes your eyes pop. And I like to pull it all the way to my eyebrows so that it gives it a little lifting effect. And just so you guys know, I am not a professional as you guys can probably tell. Um, this is just for fun, just for me and you. So that's glucose. And then now we're going to go into tongue pop with the same brush. And we're going to put that all over the lid in the crease. 
pull it a little out to have a little wing effect. Oh, I definitely love this color. This is definitely a color I can use daily. For the coral, it'll be great for the spring and the summer. I'm so glad I got this palette when I did. Because right now, it is almost time to use it. This is very pretty. Put a little bit more color into it. And let's see what should we do now feeling kind of adventurous so I think that I'm going to use a little of the cavity shade which is this bright pink right here I'm going to blend it out so it doesn't look too pigmented even though it's already so pigmented on the brush because we don't want us to go out looking crazy it blends out really nice. It's buildable. So we can go slow and steady and build up. Like I said, this is a very warm toned palette. So if you like doing warmer looks, this will be great for you. Oh, I love that. It's so beautiful. the gauging how it looks like because I really can't see without the mirror and my glasses let's see how did I do not bad all right now should we use more colors I think we should try some more colors let's use ooh, sweetener in the inner corners of the eye to brighten it up Add a little shimmer onto it. All right, and then for the rest of the lid, I am going to use Candy Floss. Just this shimmer bottle here. I'm gonna use this with my finger because I tend to find that the shimmer colors work best when I use my fingers and it comes out better let's see it's really soft to the touch too like silky so let's try it on let's see It blends in with the colors really nice. It gives it a nice ombre effect. It's not as shimmery as I expected and I want it to be, but it still looks really nice. It gives it like a muted tone to it and creates a new kind of color, which is beautiful. What do you guys think? And then I'm going to use a shadow brush to pull it underneath. Let's see, where is my shadow brush? I will use this Moda shadow brush. And I'm going to go in with Candy Floss again, just to go under the eye and pull it to the inner corner where we already put sweetener. is beautiful you know what guys since we're being using so many neutral and like pinky colors I want to try to use the gold let's see how that's gonna go out we're going to try to use donor in the middle of the eye let's see how it comes out Ooh. Bad, actually. 
it gives it a golden sheen. Now this is more shimmery than the candy floss. I love playing with the colors of eyeshadow palettes. They're just beautiful. Mixing and matching colors. So that is the eye look. I am going to put on some liner and mascara. And let's see how it turns out. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner that I've had for like a year. But it serves its purpose so well. I love how it's waterproof and it does not budge. And I don't really do a like cat eye because I only need enough liner to line my eyes to make it pop. And then some mascara. I don't really use false lashes, but I do like mascara. This is the Big Ego from Tarte, and I got this from a BoxyCharm box, actually. I love BoxyCharm. Let's try this one. I like this one because this one just gives you bit of a lift not too much volume so you don't want so much volume you just want to separate it and lengthen it that's what this mascara is good for what do you guys think let me put on my glasses and see how I did I think this would be a great look to go out it's very neutral. It's not too bold in your eyes. So I think Jeffree Star's palette, even though it might seem intimidating with all these like reds and gold and like darker tone stuff, I think it is very like usable like on a daily basis, and it's very blendable. You can blend it sheerly. You can pack on the pigment and, but. My thoughts on the blood sugar is that you must get it. It's unbelievably good. The shadow pigments are amazing. It feels amazing. Um, and I can't wait for me to use it more. So thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on the very first Kelly time. Don't remember, don't forget, sorry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the next. Thank you. Bye.